I want to remind you guys that tomorrow Natasha will be doing her live video. So That's make true. sure you have those notification bells on. Yeah, that will be at 7 p.m. UK time. I, I just, I hope that, um, you know, what, what I'm going to be doing over there, it can be helpful to some folks. That's all. Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. So I got to run to the grocery. Okay. Um, we're going to need milk, bread, and eggs. So I'm going to need some money. Okay. Not a problem. Milk, bread, and eggs, you said, huh? Milk, bread, and eggs. All right. Let's put this wallet down. Milk, bread, and eggs. There you go. Don't need more. Yep. Then the fresh vegetables. Fresh veggies, always a good thing. Just cover it. More. Especially the fresh ones. And then we have your monthly mushy pea stash, 12 cans. It's just 12 cans. Okay. There you go. You do need up more. I don't have much more. Yep, that's about what it takes. I only have and two dollars left. Well, I'm going to want some curly whirlies, so I'll take that too. Thank you. So what we just did there may seem like it was a joke, and by no means is it a joke. It's the last thing anyone's laughing at, right, Debbie? Definitely. I mean, every time I go to the grocery, it goes up and up. It's, it just keeps doubling. Yeah, from toilet paper, basic essentials, to mm -hmm. fresh vegetables, all of it. It's just crazy. So in a moment, we're going to dive in and talk more about that. Um, of course, if you guys like the blah, 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 you can blah, 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 blah. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can blah, 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 blah to that That's too. That's right, blah, blah, blah. If you don't know what we're doing, refer to the last video. Um, <laughs> thanks for being here, guys. Um, so yeah, Debbie's the one that goes to the grocery. Um, mm -hmm. She's also the cook. If you know that on Patreon, you know she's the cook. And um, you should check out some of our latest videos. If you're not a patron yet, check it out. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to compare the average cost of groceries here in America to the cost in Great Britain. That's right. Um, this is something that popped up. We've talked about this on Facebook Lives. We've talked about it with people on Patreon. And we've heard, you know, the same thing we've been hearing in our country, which is everything is so freaking expensive right now. It sure is. And I have the Kroger app on my phone here. So I'm probably going to check out some of the prices here in our local area to what he shows us. And Kroger happens to be what the fourth largest fourth grocery. Fourth largest over here. grocery. And it's our number one here where we live in yeah. the Midwest. I think it's going to be super exciting to find out the prices, differences, to compare everything together. I'm interested to see. Who's more expensive, us or you guys? I'm yeah. going to say it's going to be us. What do you think? I don't know. I think they might be. Yeah, I, well, we'll yeah. find out. So, um, but let's get into this and see the average cost of groceries in Britain versus America. Is it bog? Is that, can I say bog? Bog standard. Bog standard. So, so I'm currently standing here at a bog standard British supermarket. That is a Sainsbury's, the local edition, uh, because this is a place where a large percentage of the British people are currently going to buy their groceries. And Just a quick question. Um, Sainsbury's, Tesco, A&M, B&M, B&M, <laughs> AM Radio, um, Aldi's. Yeah. Those are the only ones that we know of. Um, where is like, I know it reminds me a little bit different on this, but where is like the most popular place? Like what's the most, where do people go the most? Just let yeah. us know. Or where do you like to go? Just curious. With the cost of inflation on the rise, with the cost of literally all goods going up more and more and more, I wanted to see what is the cost of an average shop at your local mm -hmm. store in the UK and possibly compare it to how our friends across the pond in America are currently doing with their grocery shops. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let's get some food. I'm starving. All right, so I am finally back from Sainsbury's with a meal deal in hand, deal. using, of course, a reusable bag from Morrison's because I care about the environment. So today we're going to be looking at, like I said, the difference in price between the standard groceries you can get in the UK versus the US. Having grown up in the US and spending, to this point, the majority of my life there, I'm pretty well aware of what prices things normally are. And from my experience, I always felt like it was 
always more expensive to just buy groceries than it was to get a takeaway or mm. a delivery or something like that. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think that we're uh, thinking the same thing. That depends we? on the size of your family, who all you're buying for. Yeah, if you're a single person, um, I'm not sure if he is or not. Of course, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah, so. I mean, just to go out and buy everything that you need to make a burger. Yeah, go out and buy the burger. Yeah, agreed. But hey, depends on what you're getting. And I think the data will speak for itself, pretty much. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Evan Edinger, an American-born British YouTuber who likes making videos on interesting things. You just also, did. he has a master's degree in actuarial science. You did not. I'm saying this because it explains my love for mathematics. Today's video is quite mm. mathy. Let's dive on in. Also, if you maths. like this style content, please be sure to give that subscribe button. Maths and I are not friends. Anywho, so groceries. In order to make this as fair as possible, I looked at two different stores in the US okay. and two different shops in the UK, trying to make it as uniform as possible. I also made sure that certain items were judged by the price per kilogram as opposed to just the price. So that way, okay. of course, if something was 550 grams and something was 300 grams, we can actually see the mm. overall cost per kilogram and see. Thank you, Evan. That's <laughs> a lot of math. It is. Math. Which one was more expensive. Also using Google Spreadsheets' automatic conversion algorithms, I was able to make an entire column just for Americans to understand everything in the dollar value yes. and also everything in pounds for Brits. Now in the UK corner, we're looking at a Sainsbury's slash Tesco, because I believe these are pretty middle of the line shops. Okay. And also they're all over the entirety of the UK. In the US, we're looking at an Acme slash ShopRite. And if you're American going, I've never heard of those. Nope. I'm fairly certain there aren't any fully national grocery food chains in the States. There might have some that are like taking up a huge majority of the West Coast or East Coast, like Safeway or Trader Joe's and whatnot. But I'm using my Jersey heritage. So we're going with ShopRite and Acme. Just quickly. Okay, so he's using two stores in Jersey. Again, we've never heard of them. Mm -hmm. um, that's East Coast. We're in the Midwest. So like Debbie's going to look up a couple things just yeah. on the app, uh, Kroger. Um, and so it, it's hard to do this. This is gonna be tough because things in the East coast are not gonna be the same price as they are in the Midwest and they're not gonna be the same price yeah. in, the, in the West coast. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's gonna be all over the place yeah, but well, and certain products will be cheaper in certain places based, on e either coast, depending how close you live to where it gets shipped in and or where it's grown. Right. All right, I split this up into a couple different sections with the standard groceries. We got fruit and veg, and okay. then we got some meats and other Perfect. things like that. In the UK, you can expect to spend about one pound 20 for your standard loaf, no fancy, Wait, no seeds wow. of bread. In the US, the equivalent cost in dollars is $3.84, or in pounds, that's three wow. pounds 32. A 2.7 times increase. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot. I didn't expect that. And we're only on the first item. Holy crap. So I just checked on the Kroger app and here in our area, it is 379 for the same size loaf of bread. So he has 319, ours in this area is 379. So 60 cents more right off the bat, just for the loaf of bread. And then Evan's got all these breakdowns. At yeah, the look at there. the bottom here. So I, like you said, he's gonna break everything down to kilograms and pounds and make it all simple. So I assume he has done all that math for us. So we're gonna look over on the right side of the screen to the- um, And you guys should be looking dollars. on the left side of the screen. And you guys look at the pound. Sorry if the pause button is making that harder to see. Okay. Wow, that, that's, that's a um, huge difference just on bread. This better be the only thing that's that ridiculous because otherwise- Let's hope so. I did not want to be right about this video over the cost of a single loaf of bread for the same equivalent grammage in the UK. Grammage. Grammage. <laughs> My grandma bought this loaf of bread and it was 2.7 times more expensive back in her day. Porridge oats or oatmeal, standard <laughs> kilogram box of porridge oats is gonna cost you about one pound 95 in the UK. Get you a nice amount of porridge. In the US, that's four pound 71, the equivalent of $5.45 for a kilogram of oats. Oh Yet again, we're over two times more expensive for this standard grocery. Next mm -hmm. up, we've got cornflakes. These exist in both countries. No crazy mm -hmm. cereal. No, we're not talking about any like Jolly Rancher or Sour Patch Kids cereal in the US. Standard cornflakes in the UK, of course, if you want a big box of this terrible anti-mask. Wait, what? Anti uh, stop yeah. right there. <laughs> um, you pay two two pounds? We go to the UK and eat cereal. We don't eat cereals. No, we don't even eat cereal. No, we don't anyway. need it much, but we could go there and eat it's cereal. Bad for you. <laughs> um, but you pay two pounds. I know what that costs. You guys. 
Okay. Embarrassed. The Tory Why? cereal. It's going to cost you two pounds. It's pretty standard. It's cornflakes. You're not paying much for cornflakes. In the US, it is £5.59. $6.46 mm. for a box of cornflakes. Cornflakes. Uh, this is one of those that I, I was like, yeah. is it really that expensive? And then I remembered, yes, I loved cereal growing up in the States. And I always expected to pay about $4.50 for a small box or for mm -hmm. the cornflakes, something like that size, about six bucks. So mm -hmm. whew, I just didn't realize how much I was really saving on groceries living in the wow. UK. On basic things. Moving on, we got 500 grams of rice. This one was actually quite close. Only 10% more expensive in the US. Still more expensive, but you know, not as bad. 1.26 times more expensive in the States for the equivalent amount of butter. Freaking seriously? Moving on to four pints of whole milk. And if you're wondering why I'm measuring four pints of whole milk, the UK is an absolutely batshit measuring thing in which they go somewhat metric and then they go back to imperial, but in a weird way where instead of just saying a gallon or quartz or something like that, they just go with four pints. Might as well just say eight cups. I don't know, That's half gallon. very confusing. Ring a bell, very anyone? So. Two quarts, I don't know. Either way, so the equivalent amount of milk, a standard thing that most people pick up mm -hmm. during their grocery shop, we're looking at three pound 10 in the US. Yet again, more than double the UK amount of- Yeah. And I think that's about what we pay here in this I area. was just gonna ask you, you don't even need to check yeah. the app on that, do you? Well, I mean, in all fairness, what's no, I don't have gallon? to check the, the, the app Holy on that one. Yeah. crap. Wow. We need to move to the UK. We do. Uh, I did not expect this. This is absolutely eye-opening in ways that I didn't expect. Yeah, to... definitely not this big a difference. I mean, oh come my on. lord! Did you guys expect this? Did you know this? This is incredible. But it's just wow. <laughs> okay. One pound forty-five. Switching over to dollars, that's the equivalent of paying a dollar sixty-eight for a half gallon yeah. of milk. So far, we've not really seen any big W's coming out the U.S. No. But that's about to change with cheddar cheese. Five hundred fifty grams. No, actually, uh, very close though. Only sixteen percent more expensive in the states. So you could you could write that off as a little bit of variance. That's fine. A dozen medium eggs, two pound thirty for a standard dozen versus three pounds and two pence in the states. So for my standard dry good groceries, it looks like the the UK is a resounding win with a yeah. significant decrease in the price of groceries. I just need to pause right there. So I take a look at this for a moment. Yeah. And then um, the cornflakes. Oh my God. Yeah. The cornflakes were incredible. Glad well, we don't eat that. Um, now I do have to say uh, <clears throat> here, I mean, I know that there are store brands or generic brands that, that a lot of people purchase also to save money. So we do take that into consideration, but this is a good way just on general comparison at least. Yeah you know, cornflakes and cornflakes are cornflakes. Now moving on to fresh fruit and veg. First up is an onion or rather onions per kilogram. Per kilogram, you're looking at 85 pence for a kilogram of onions. Of course, they're cheap onions. Except in the States, you're looking at an equivalent of three pounds and 79 pence. We're looking at 4.46 times the price, nearly. Wow. So we have um, the buy me a coffee link in the description of all of our videos. Um, we can change that to buy us a bag of groceries. <laughs> buy me an onion. Buy us an onion. <laughs> buy us some onions. Um, geez. Geez. Some bread. This is like being smacked in the face. It's her ass. I mean, I mean I, wow. Okay. Okay. Head spinning. Head spinning. Um. Hmm. Okay. 99 pence. We're looking at 4.46 times the price. Nearly four and a half times more money for a bag of onions. And it gets worse if you only want, want to buy a couple onions. I knew this because when I visited the States in February, I wanted to buy one onion for a dish and it cost a dollar. Yeah. For one onion. In the UK, that's the equivalent of buying a whole kilogram of them. It's, it's, it's crazy. And then finally, mm -hmm. we get our first W, USA. We went on the tomatoes, okay? We got some vine fresh tomatoes. The US pays 17% less. Ha! Hell yeah. Go tomatoes! Now to be- USA! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just gotta live on tomatoes. And then we can, we really need to move over there. To be fair, this is a bit of an outlier because 
this is coming from a New Jersey location. Yeah, and New Jersey is state. known for our Jersey fresh tomatoes, the best tomatoes you can get anywhere in the world. So you think because they're so incredibly good and delicious in the Garden State, they'd be more expensive, but no, everyone's growing them. We got yep. them all over the place. So congrats, <laughs> we got cheaper tomatoes. Next up, Pink mm -hmm. Lady Apples, the creme de la crap. Yes, another win for the US. Yes. 2% cheaper, but we so will sad. take more W's. Now, bananas per kilogram are 78 pence in the UK. You can buy them for, at uh, this point, freaking 30 pence per. But I digress. For the US, it's not that bad. At one pound 12 is the equivalent amount. So only one mm. and a half times more expensive. Only one and a half I'm times. saying only, but at this point, these are all starting to add up. And this one blew me away the most. A kilogram of carrots will set you back 45 pence, nearly 50 cents. However, in the US for that equivalent, you're paying one pound 88. Yet again, over four what? times the cost for carrots. And at this point, it's starting to get really freaky because the US, especially like California, has so many farms, huge swathes of land, right. so much more land. You could argue with, with more people, and so therefore we have more demand. But I, for some reason, I feel like something else is afoot here as well. Like, it, it just seems wild that all of this is more expensive, except of course, the Jersey Fresh and the apples. Next up. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Evan. Whatever. Hi, UK. <laughs> we really might be coming over there. <laughs> All of this is more expensive, except, of course, the Jersey Fresh. And we don't live in Jersey, man. Next up, standard raisins. Standard bag of raisins are two times more expensive in the US. A cucumber, one and a half times more expensive. A same thing for a can of chopped tomatoes, one and a are half times kidding? more expensive. A kilogram of potatoes, potatoes, what? are so cheap. A, a kilogram bag is 83 pence okay. in the UK. The US is three and a half times more expensive. We're looking at over $3 for a kilogram of wow. potatoes. Lord have mercy. We did have two wins for this section of fresh fruit and veg, but now I think there might uh. be a bit more perspective here on why there's so much processed mm. foods in the US, because if you can believe it, a lot of those are a lot cheaper than buying all of these fresh vegetables. Just buy. Yeah, so like, stop giving us crap about the processed foods then. <laughs> um, that depends too. Like, that's not always the case. Wow. Buy a box add a couple things to it, bon appetit. You save a bit of money, not as good for you. And finally, our mm. last section here is going to be the meat of the video. No, no. The meat. Going into this, I really expected the UK's to be more expensive for meat. Is it not? Because God, is it expensive mm -hmm. to buy standard mincemeat and chicken and such at the local stores. But mincemeat, holy crap. One pound 69 for the UK equivalent weight. Five pound 99, holy three and a half times for meat. What? Wow. I don't know how much I'd eat meat if it was that. What? Wow. What? What? That's insane. What is going on here? This is insane. Okay, guys. Run that back just five sec, 10 seconds. This is incredibly shocking. 69 for the UK equivalent weight. Five pound 99. Holy three and a half times for meat. I, wow. I don't know how much I'd eat meat if it was that expensive. No, we don't eat beef, thank God. Chicken breast, 650 grams, 1.3 times more expensive in the US. That would be what we pay. Okay, that's not that so bad that's considering bad. mincemeat was that big. Smoked bacon, very close, very close. Nearly one to one, 250 yeah. versus 256. That can change depending on how far the pound has been dropping recently. So if we were to add all these up, the cost of your total grocery shop in the UK would be 48 pounds and 88 pence. Whereas the US equivalent is 88 pounds and 69 pence. Over a hundred dollars for a standard grocery shop. Look at that again. Wow. Look at that price. Hard to see it with all the crap in the way. Sorry. So about, so double. It's literally double. Yeah. Jeez. 48 pounds and 88 pence. Whereas the US equivalent is 88 pounds and 69 pence. Over a hundred dollars for a standard wow. grocery shop which blows me away. Back when I used to shop at Little all the time, I would marvel at how many things I'd shove in my cart and it would still come out to just about 20 quid. And I was like, hell yes. But I just can't imagine a standard grocery shop being a hundred 
dollars. Of course, you're... this is just a couple samples taken. It's but that's what it is. Every time you come back, you're, you're I'm like, how much did you spend? And you say about a hundred bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, where's the food though? <laughs> and especially lately, I mean, it's been horrible. It's kind of keeps going up and up and up and up and up. It sure does. Jeez. Not like a sample across all of the U.S. and all of the U.K. And sure, if you're always used to paying 1.8 times what the U.K. is, you're not necessarily. Mm -hmm going to notice as big a difference. You don't- We are now! Thank you, Ellen! <laughs> ...have anything to compare it to necessarily while you've always been in the US. But sales tax is also a thing in quite a yes. few states. 13 states actually charge their citizens tax on basic groceries. We are not one of those states, but- Right. That is on food items. We don't, we don't get sales tax on food items in Ohio. Right. So that's like he's showing here, your box foods, your fresh produce, your meats. But as you all know, when you go to the grocery, you're also buying toilet paper, dish soap, toilet paper, paper towels, laundry detergent, um, other stuff, other things that you might pick, soda, drinks like that you will be taxed on yes. here too. Yes. So add that in as well. Tennessee charges 4%. So that $100 shop has an extra $4 tacked on top mm -hmm. that you aren't really probably budgeting for. And then that adds up every single shop. Okay, data is data. You can extrapolate from it what you will. So tell me below what your thoughts are on this whole type Depression. of situation. Is your country <laughs> a bit worse with this? I know for instance, Switzerland has it really bad. Oh yeah. To taxes and such. Yeah. So maybe any Swiss people in the comments want to chime in about what their standard grocery shop looks like. If these prices seem outlandish, if you convert to euros, Tell me below. Oh yeah, I enjoyed that. Thanks, Evan. If we do have any people from Switzerland, first of all, your country is gorgeous. Absolutely. Um, let us know. And other countries, let us know how this pans out for you too. Um, yeah, he's like, if you enjoyed this video. I did not enjoy this video. <laughs> <laughs> this video made me not happy. Um, that was definitely interesting, seeing the difference between... You say interesting and I say depressing. <laughs> well, I mean, our grocery prices are our grocery prices. It's not like we've ever paid their prices here in a long time. So, no. I mean, we have to remember that. But um, we did used to pay the prices you guys are paying now. We did, just a few years ago. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. On not everything, on some yeah. of the things. On some of the things. Yes. Things were cheaper and things have gradually increased and increased. And yeah. they keep increasing. Yeah, I don't see that stopping um, anytime soon. But just the, the general... Price differences and seeing that that groceries over there are so much cheaper that you do have um, the fresh vegetables and the healthier, not healthier, the your basics, your milk, bread, eggs, stuff like that is so much cheaper over there. Yeah, that, your oatmeal. It was very interesting. The freaking meat, though, man. Uh, the beef was ridiculous. Well, we don't eat beef, chicken thank God. Chicken wasn't so bad. and It wasn't good. <laughs> not good, uh, but it wasn't as horrible. Either way, it still <laughs> was a big eye-opener, a big wake-up call. I mean, nothing we can do about it. No. Um, like I said about farmer's markets, that's your best bet, um, especially like for mm -hmm. meats and stuff, um, for produce. But again, you got to take into consideration of the season. We'll have a bonus episode up for you on Friday. So we're bringing some Christmas to you on Friday. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. Um, let us know your thoughts about this and, and be nice to us, please. As you can see, we're struggling. <laughs> yes. um, but uh, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to. And um, we will be back. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. And then we'll both be back on Friday. That's right. On, in December. So, as always, guys, love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.